Hello, my name is Katie Campbell, a horticulture specialist for MU Extension, and the topic for today is end of the season sanitation. So when we get to the end of the season, we want to think about it's time to close out the garden, get everything prepped. And part of the goals of doing that is to reduce disease, causing pathogens, reduce the number of insects and eggs, reduce the number of weed seeds, and also think about spring preparation. So in order to do some of that, we first need to keep good records. It can be plant placements, so we can also plan for crop rotation. I always think I'm going to remember, but when next spring comes around, I don't necessarily remember as well as I think I did. Write down what worked, what didn't. So we want to keep track of those successes that my tomato crop was excellent this year because I used this variety. Also, what didn't, what were those problems that I could not get ahead of harlequin bug in my coal crops this year? So think about those. And then also plan for next year. I want to try this new variety. I want to try to prevent those harlequin bugs by covering the crops. So think through those things. Now, why do we do this annotation? Because we can have overwintering pests. So early blight, it can overwinter in tomato debris. Powdery mildew in cucurbit debris. Squash bugs overwinter as adults in debris. Cucumber beetles as adults in plant debris. So those are some common pests that are really problematic in our gardens. And there are many, many more insects that do overwinter in plant debris or in the soil. And then, of course, weeds. Weeds are always an issue in any type of garden. And we really want to clean up those weed seeds so we don't put those in the soil seed bank. And then finally, after frost, we want to clean up and get rid of any of those diseased plants, either remove them or you can till them in deeply, so basically burying them. Remove those weeds. We really don't want those seeds to go into the soil seed bank because weeds are very good at what they do. They know how to stay dormant in the soil until the conditions are right, and they can germinate many, many years from when that plant actually set feed. So we want to think about that. And not only do we want to prevent the weeds from going to seed so we don't have more weed problems in the future, they can also provide overwintering sites for those pests. So they can be alternate hosts for some of our plant diseases. They can also be sites for insects to take cover for that next growing season. So those are just a few things to think about and continue to clean up the garden so we are ready for a successful growing season in the next year.